we will not release Namde Kano if he refuses to drop their fragmentation. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't understand this, this is exactly what is happening. Several comments has been made. Several threats has been made ever since Namde Kano was kidnapped. As they torment him in DSS custody, they continue to ask him to drop your fragitation. I see you fighting for your right is a crime. In fact, they have made up their mind that they would not lose more less and drop your fragitation. That is the handwork of the British and the so-called Flanny terrorist government. Some of us don't understand what is going on. How they have done everything possible. To frustrate him. His head condition and everything. They could not tell him to obey. Otherwise they would not listen. It's true that Katina Lang was sacked. And another person was brought And we should somehow watch over him to see how he's going to play. But the truth must always be told. That gentleman has suffered in DSS custard. Why the British government and the their Edith Lani henchmen in Asorok has been busy doing everything possible to frustrate him. In a country where you keep a man in DSS custard, not in prison yet, and to date, Getting to two years, you have refused to listen. Even after the committee court has said listen. So what are you people thinking about? Do you think we are stupid? Everything happening in DSS custody, we know. How you have continued to frustrate this gentleman. How you have planned to destroy him. How you have planned to destroy his soul, both physically and spiritually. You give him problems. He may handle him. Nothing is working. You were told by court of law to listen. To date, you have refused to listen. And the same court of law has decided not to say otherwise. They continue to do, to do the bidding of their Flanny Janja with masters. Why the British government continue to aid them? Katina Lang was asked, so what? All we ask here is to listen and they come. Pushing him to accept your offer by force, you will not succeed. Because you will know who he is and what he's capable of doing. But you have told you several times that nothing should happen to him. Because everybody knows right now that he is illegally detained. Not only that you brought him back illegally, you are also illegally detaining him. After a court has said, let him go. British government continue to pretend. When will this continue to happen? How long will this continue to happen? We must not allow them to continue to frustrate us. Enough is enough. You continue to disturb him. Since after he was kidnapped by you and the, the ten in this custody, you have offered him all sorts of things. More than 10 times. Upon that, he could not reject them. And you have refused to understand that a man cannot eat by bread alone. A man cannot sow his destiny. Not man that can mass numb the camel. There, 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 are, there is a man and there are men. We are asking you to listen. We are really getting out of patience. He never committed any crime. Rather, you are the one committing crime against him. Man, humanity to man. You threaten his life now and then. Some people think that everything that you, we will be told. No. Something wrong is going on. 
How come he's sick and nobody's seeing what and the problem he have? Apart from this, one of the DSS doctor that was sacked because he identified that Mazen Nandikali is having a problem. We have said this in no time for those who knows Nigerian government to advise them to release a man that the court of law has released. Know that Nigerian court has bias because of one thing or the other, because of one thing or the other, because they are doing everything possible to aid their flanger jam with master so that they cannot link them in one corruption charge or the other. But we will never throw at anybody who is planning everything possible to destroy us and they can. He should be released. He has endured enough. We are a government believe that they are too strong that nobody can push them around. But believe in time shall come when even the Buhari, his leg will be more than his head while he was running. Why he's running. A gentleman given to us by God Almighty to help us restore the Biafra struggle. Biafra nation. And we have been with him for so long. All they did was plan. Rebel against him, both some people from our land and some people outside. And kidnapped him and brought him back to Nigeria. But the question is how long will this continue to happen? The youth are running out of patience in Biafra land over the adoption of Mazen Namde Khan and continuation of him. Release Mazen Namde Khan before it's too late. Do not say we did not tell you. Enough of this suffering, enough of this harassment, enough of this problem here and there. All we need is his release. He has not committed any crime. Why the ginger weeds are going around and why the Buhari government are going around committing crime? Why the do all they want to do? All we are asking is the release of Mazen Nam the Khan. The release of Ahmadike, who did not commit any crime, whom the court of appeal has given out that to be released. Why is the government messing around with Igbo people? Let us do the nephew. We are still pleading to the Nigerian government to release Mazen and the Kano before it's too late. Something goes shelling. If anything goes wrong, I've said this before and I'll continue to say this. That time nobody will like to listen to anybody anymore. I think I come to the end of this news. Members as you share. Cheers.